Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe, you know, as I always do. Um, I am doing good. And um, thank you all for joining me today. Um, if you are new, thanks again, thank you for joining me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and that way you always be subscribed and you don't miss out on any of my videos. Make sure you hit it where it says that you receive all notifications. Because you never know what Bag of Day is going to put on. It, you know, put on crochet tutorials, yarn unboxings, giveaways, show new yarns, all kinds of cool stuff. And you don't want to miss You don't want to miss out. Also, if you're new, don't forget to check out my hundreds of crochet tutorials that I already have. All right. So let's begin. So I have some new yarn from Premiere. Now, it looked very promising um, on their website. Um, a fellow YouTuber. Um, uh crafty yarn owl with darla actually sent me an email and told me about this yarn thank you very much darla you guys check her out if you have not i think you will enjoy her tutorials and her content um so i went to premiere and i looked at it and it looked very very pretty um first off though um i want to just say that uh i'm not affiliated with premiere um i bought all this yarn myself i don't have affiliated links i'm not I don't care if you buy the yarn at all or not. It doesn't matter to me. I only just show you new yarns and I tell you my honest opinions. Now remember, whatever I say about any yarn company, it's nothing personal. I like I like Premier <clears throat> a lot. Um, they have a lot of nice yarns. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the one that I uh, looked most, they had a couple, a few new ones, but I'm going to show you the one. I, I'm going to show you all of them, but I want to show you the one I thought looked most interesting first. This is called Premier Anti-Peeling Butterfly. That's the striping effect that's supposed to play out on it. So let's read about it, talk about it, look at it, and see what it's about. One, two. Okay. So it's 100% anti-peeling, a lightweight number three, a DK. Um... It's machine washable and dryable. And there are 546 yards or 500 meters, seven ounces and 200 grams. So it being anti-peeling is nice. Feels good, feels good. Um, smells clean. I always like a yarn that feels good and smells clean. <laughs> so um, it looks pretty. It does have a bit of a shine to it. Uh, and this is their lightweight three. It's a nice lightweight three. It's very much resembles um, another yarn um, called, called Butterfly, actually. Uh, the way it looks and the way it feels from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I in Denmark. It kind of reminds me a little bit, actually quite a bit, of theirs. There is one difference, though, about it. Um, okay, so let's read about it on their site. Now, they have... Um, six colors i do have all six colors and i will show you what they all look like the color of the one i have in my hand now is called wild flowers okay it says that the butterfly features a unique stripe pattern with two-thirds of the ball one solid color and the remaining a third features five colored stripes each ball stops and starts at the same point of the stripe pattern, making a way, take, or taking away the frustration of finding the right spot in the striped pattern. That means they're saying every cake is the same. So it starts and stops the same. That's good. We'll check it out because I got two of each and we'll see, see what's going on with that. Um, it's made with their anti-peeling acrylic. So your project will look like new wash after wash. Um... All right. So, and this is $8.99 at Premier.com. That's where I bought it. Now, I don't think that's a bad price for the amount of yardage that you get, 546 yards. And it is a very nice, soft, anti-peeling, 100% uh, acrylic yarn. So, that being said, so as you can see, it does have a very... It says three quarters of it is one solid color and then it has five stripes of another and that each ball ends the same. 
so it's always you don't have to do any color control or anything it's always just gonna where you end you can start a new ball and it's gonna be exactly like you should okay so there's this one here I can't really see the stripes in this one because they're different but this one is looks like those are the stripes that are in it five different stripes okay so I got another one of this color and we'll see if they start and stop at the same spot Yee. that does not look like they do but let I could do a little digging around in the cake and see because sometimes looks can be deceiving so this one is starting okay at a solid purple okay let me dig around in the center because it may very well do that it's just really tangled in the center of the of the skein or the cake so That's a mess. That is a complete and utter mess. Okay, this was shoved in there like that. It has no purple. It, I didn't cut this. It was like this. This was just shoved in there like that. So when you take it out, um, it, it was supposed that was supposed to be the first color. It was just cut and shoved in there in a knot, like big ball like that. And the second color is supposed to be that other color of purple. It is not in there at all. So this cake is a flub up. These two did not start and stop at the same. In fact, mine's missing. This was just thrown in there. It's missing the other purple. But it does have the other three colors. So that's a shame. But, you know, it, 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 it can happen, I guess. Seems to happen to me a lot, though, um, I'm, I'm with, with Premier. Sometimes I just feel like I don't want to do their yarn sometimes because that stuff like this happens a lot. Okay, anyways, um, let's go on to their next color. So that was a weird cake uh, as far as the way it did not start, the way it was, it, it was just messed up. I got, a, I got a messed up cake. It can happen to anybody. Let's look at the next one. Now, these two match very pretty. Um, this one is called Meadow. So it's got a big white stripe. And then you can see the colors there. Um, it's like very, very pale cream, almost white, pearly white, I guess is what you would say. And there are the color stripes at the end and they are all, um, the same. So those two are the same. Mm -hmm. Nice pretty pretty one you know I, i've done one up on my knitting machine and i'm going to show you what it looks what it looks like i'm just going to try not to make my video too long i hate to do this i mean i hate to do this i do hate to do this um this is the second time that this has happened to me with premiere i got moldy yarn again this happened to me and i know some people are going to say some people that are die hard Premier fans, they're going to say that this is not mold. This is mold because I'm looking at it right now. This bag was ripped and these yarns have mold on them. I mean, say what you will. It's not ink. It's not anything else. There is mold on the yarn. Okay. I can see it. I'm looking at it. The yarn got wet. The label is crunchy from being wet and then the label molded. So... This happened, I think, two times now for me from Premiere. Both these both these cakes are molded. Okay, so these are no good to me. Um, this did happen before, and I contacted customer service and I told them that it was, you know, I just wanted to make them aware um, of it, and I didn't want any in my money back or or a new ball or anything that it was that it was okay. Um, to be honest, they didn't act like um, um, like it was a big deal, but they did give me my four dollars back, even though I said that it was oh, that it was okay. So, but anyways, um, man, it's such a shame. This one's called Riverbank. It's very pretty, and the colors do start and stop at the same same spot. Um, but unfortunately, the yarn is moldy. The labels are all wet. 
or they were wet and they, they're crunchy now from in. But, but last time I said it was moldy, how loud I got a lot of flack saying people saying that it wasn't. Um, you can't tell on camera. I'm looking at it right now. It's mold. And I'm going to toss it right over here. And I'm going to throw it in the garbage because I'm not going to use that. And I'm going to hand, sand, hand sanitize my hand real quick. Okay, now that that's over with, let's move on to the other colors. You know, what, what gets me though on that mold is they opened these bags because I can tell they came in a three pack. So they put the, well, either they either took out a moldy one or I don't know what happened. But anyways, let's move on. That's, that's a shame. Blue Skies is this one. And this has a big solid white again. And these do start and stop in the same spot. It's, it's pretty. The colors are pretty. So they are the same. Okay, I got this one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this one. This one might be my favorite. Um, this one's called Dockside. Very pretty. I like that. And those do start and stop at the same spot. I like yarns that do that. I do. It's very nice because I like consistency. The one, first one was probably a flub up. I do not like the moldy yarn, like I said. Um, it's not the first time from, that that's happened for me from Premiere. But these are nice and pretty. Um, mold, mold free. <laughs> and then I did do up another one on my knitting machine. And they were the same too. So all of them were the same except for that first one I showed you that was had that one color, purple shoved in it. And then it was also missing a color. And then I, the moldy ones are gross, but they were the same. So I did this one up on my knitting machine, and this one is called Summer. So there's that. And it is the same as what, this is what it looks like. Um, it's very, very soft and drapey. But, and this is what it looks like on my knitting machine. This is a whole cake. I like the way it feels. I like the way it drapes. I do not like that huge, huge band of solid color. I mean, the only thing I can really think of that I would use it for is maybe like a shawl. You could get like a shawl out of a ball and then the end of it would be kind of like this. But then again, you're still gonna have to color control if you want it to be, you know, the same, these colors. And there's not a, like, a lot of the color is just mostly the white that you're getting so although the yarn is very very soft and very very um feels really nice um and i really like the color of this one a lot um i don't think i'd repurchase it because i'm not a huge fan of the big blocks of white or this one's kind of gray i'm just not a huge fan of that um for me but, you know, everybody's different. That's just my opinion. Um, I think it's worth the $8.99 that they want for it. Because it has a lot of yardage and everything. But, for me, it's just so much white. And I like white. But it's just like, there's only so much you can do, I think, with this. Without having to cut and color control. I mean, I understand they're, try they're, they're trying to make it where you don't have to do that. But, there's only so many things you can make without having to do that. Um, but, anyways. It's a pretty yarn. Um, so we'll move on from that one that, like I said, this, you know, what am I going to do? It's just, <laughs> it's just too, too much. It's too much white for me, but, or too much of one solid color for me. Okay. Let's move on. Now they had, uh, this is their everyday, um, the butterfly. I like it. I said, I like the way it feels and how, I'm not talking bad about it. I like the way it feels. Um. And everything. I just don't like the big three quarters of it being one color. That's just not, it's not me. I, that's probably why I would not. I wouldn't rebuy it again. Let's see. So then they had um, Premier Anti Peeling Everyday DK Dots. So this is just like their uh, uh, anti peeling uh, DK. Only it's got dots in it. So it's gonna be. It's nice. It feels just like these do. Um, these probably the same yarn. I would imagine. Um, very soft, 
very nice very scarfable is my term if you're new that i use that wear it against the skin wouldn't bother you it smells clean nice um it's anti-peeling um i like the dots in it it's kind of cute you know i think that would work up really pretty for a baby blanket or something 273 yards or 250 meters 3.5 ounces 100 grams lightweight number three machine wash double dry made in turkey um and these are 4.99 i don't think that's a bad price so i like those i do and i figured that i would because i don't have a problem with their uh anti-peeling yarns uh most of them now i have one more yarn in here they did have some other new ones but i did not get them all um some of them are ones that you could get at, at, at the dollar tree you know that just yarn and that just cotton i've had those before and um but they had this new one here. The other new ones I've already done reviews on. But I did get this one because <clears throat> I think I want to make something with it. This is called Premier Parfait XL Speckled Print Yarn. I like bulky yarn and super bulky yarn and jumbo yarn. This is very pretty. It smells clean feels nice it feels like their their parfait yarn which is kind of like a chenille feeling yarn uh it's nice you can see the color how the colors look in that that's cool i like it i like it let's read about it though this is a jumbo number seven so you could use a big old hook and whip something up in no time with the, with this stuff oh the color is called bittersweet i love brown brown's my favorite color <laughs> so this says it's a machine wash on warm but you want to lay it flat to dry jumbo number seven um yeah they oh um 87 yards or 80 meters seven ounces 200 grams or it's 100 percent polyester so i did get four because i'm going to make a throw pillow for my new house out of this so that's what i bought this for um to put on my rocking chair so i think that i hope that's enough i think it will be because if i use a big enough hook you know it'd be nice i like this one so this is 7.99 i know um it's not it may not seem like a lot of yardage but 80 yards of a jumbo number seven will get you pretty you know 87 yards of a jumbo number seven um it's going to get you pretty far in your project you know a heck of a lot farther than like a three-way wood or something or a four-way um so yeah, I think four would be plenty for me to make my pillow. So my throw pillow. I like it. I think this has to be my favorite of <laughs> the bunch. Okay, that's all I got. So I love the Parfait XL uh, speckles. And this is just, you know, it's like their everyday anti-peeling. There's nothing wrong with it. I have no problem with it. I've used it. Not the dots because it's new, but I've used their regular. And it's, it's a nice soft yarn. So yes. And these are... You know, it feels the same as our everyday anti-peeling. Um, shiny, soft, drapey. Uh, good price, I think, for the yardage. Um, the colors are really pretty. I just don't like the so myself personally. It's only a personal opinion. Um, I don't like the big block of the one color that they got going on there. It just makes it, for me, it just seems like it makes it limited. But, you know, everybody's different. So you might see this and make think of a million things to make me i only see just a couple things that would be feasible uh for my liking without having to cut and chop the collars so um but it is a very very pretty yarn so that's it this one's my favorite i'll probably keep this one um since the big chunk of it is is not white it's i don't know i don't know if i'll keep this or not i i, I get a lot of this yarn and um to show everybody the new yarns you know and then i give them away in giveaways because i can't i can't ha i can only have so much yarn but so uh throw the moldy ones are gone and this one i'll have to put in my scrap yarn pile because that's how it came and it's missing the other color so uh that's no cool that's not cool but i'll put it in my scrap yarn bin which i donate locally and this is what yeah this is what they look like it's just that's it. So, Premier, nice job on most of those. I don't like that moldy yarn problem you got going <laughs> two times for me. Don't worry. 
um, I'll contact customer service and I'll tell them um, that it happened that way they can know I'll send them a picture of the of the lot number and they'll, they'll take care of it I'm sure um, but um, but yeah nice nice job on almost you know nice job on all of them like I said it's just um, the butterfly is just too solid for me I wish it was more stripy but it's still very pretty yarn and that's it I'm gonna go everybody look for that pillow tutorial though on that uh, uh, the premier parfait XL I'll probably do a tutorial on that and I'll see you on my next video okay stay safe everybody bye bye guys